when you lean into discipline and focus and add in a pinch of consistency, it can take you so far. I don't think this is controversial <laughs> necessarily, but just because it isn't right now, doesn't mean that it won't ever be. Hi, my loves. My name is DeAndre Nicolette. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're talking about five habits to adopt in order to embody your best self and manifest your dream life. The first habit that you want to adopt in order to embody your best self and manifest your dream life is to simplify what you're focusing on and allow yourself to lean in and become consistent in that thing. This is something that I've had to tell myself so many times over the years because I'm the type of person that I want to do everything. Like I want to have a hand in multiple different pots simply because I like the pots and I like stirring and I like doing all the things and it gets really fun and it allows me to be very creative. When you're focusing on five, 10 different things, you're not going to do any of those five or 10 different things really, really well. You're going to do them mediocre at best, or maybe some of them you'll do kind of well and the others won't be that well. And when you're focusing on a ton of different things and trying to exert a ton of different energy, one, you're setting yourself up for burnout. You're setting yourself up for failure. And you're also setting yourself up for just like, not doing anything really, really well and being, again, very extremely mediocre at a bunch of different things. Now, I do understand and I do resonate with wanting to have multiple different hobbies, but I think there's something to be said about understanding what are the things that you genuinely want to be excellent at and you want to be consistent at and allowing yourself to exert a lot more energy and focus towards those things and then everything else if you have any leftover energy any leftover focus you can put it towards some of those things but they're not your highest priority there's something really powerful about discipline and focus when you lean into discipline and focus and add in a pinch of consistency it can take you so far whether this is with your workouts whether this is with content creation whether this is with your goal for reading your career goals your other fitness goals like whatever it is when you remove all the external things all of the other things that don't really matter as much or all of the other things that you don't necessarily want to prioritize as much and you focus on the things that you do you're able to get so much more done and make so much more progress than you would have had had you been dabbling in a bunch of different things and exerting too much energy in places that don't really matter to you. The second habit that you need to adopt in order to embody your best self and manifest your dream life is to plan out your day and prioritize what you're focusing on for that day. I have talked about this a million trillion times on my podcast. So if you listen to Manifest Daily, then you've already heard me talk about this. You already you know the different ways that I do this but I'm gonna dive in for those y'all that are new to me new to the content okay planning your day doesn't really matter what tool you use find a tool that works for you I use a mix of a couple different tools so I use Google Calendar for one when I tell y'all I have a calendar where everything is time blocks color coordinated and this is not to say it's like a rigid time block or color coordination at all like I definitely shift things around and move things around throughout my day but for the most part when I look at my calendar I can get a high level understanding of what it is that's going on in that day and for that week and also what are the things that are really being prioritized for that week I also use my planner if you don't know it's available on shopmanifestdaily.com I'll have the link down in the show notes description I would say show notes I have a link in the description for y'all it's a six month undated planner that I designed and sell on my website so if you're someone that is looking for a planner that really mixes the magic of manifestation with pragmatic goal setting and planning this planner is going to be perfect for you and I'll have it linked down below planning your day is really important because it kind of goes back to the consistency and the focus and the dedication people that have a lot of goals and people that are very ambitious and people that want to do a lot in this world with their life understand that time is a resource you can never get back you can always make more money you can always have more things but you can never have more time you're given a set amount of time on this earth that you're going to spend and once it's up it's up so you need to use that time wisely in order to do more of what you want to do and do more of what really truly fills your cup up and is making progress towards your goals now this doesn't mean that every second of every single day you need to be hustling because i feel like when we talk 
about goal setting and we talk about, you know, time and we talk about discipline, I feel like it comes off as a very rigid thing where there's no give and it's just all very cold and people are just like hustling and grinding throughout the day. Yes, that can mean that for some people, but the way that I see it, it can also mean that you're understanding how to prioritize things like rest, understanding how to prioritize things like self-care, filling your cup back up. You can fit all of those things into your schedule. And for me, that looks like Sundays are my rest days. Those are the days that I can use for anything that I want, whether I choose to go see a movie that day, whether I choose to lay in bed and like rot <laughs> all day or clean. I plan that into my schedule and I know that's time that's gonna be well spent resting and recuperating. The third habit that you need to adopt in order to embody your best self and manifest your dream life is to audit your consumption. This is a huge one because we are in the world, the, the life, the era of consumption right now. And it is so overstimulating and overwhelming sometimes. Like I just find myself getting whiplash by the amount of content that is available. This is where discernment comes in. And this is also where you need to audit the type of content you consume and the cadence at which you consume that content. If you're going on TikTok, if you're going on Instagram, if you're going on YouTube, none of that stuff is bad by itself, right? These are all just platforms. These are just mediums by which we consume the content. But if you're consuming content that's not really aligned with the version of you that you want to become that's something where you need to think about no longer consuming that content or consuming it a lot less the thing about manifesting your dream life and embodying the best version of yourself is that you literally have to start now. You have to learn that you can't wait until you're in the dream job, in the dream home, in the dream car, making the amount of money that you want to make before you embody the version of you that you want to be. You have to start now. In order to align yourself with those things and those opportunities, you literally have to start where you are right now. And that starts with what you're consuming. What are you watching on TikTok for hours and hours and hours on end? What are you watching on YouTube for hours and hours on hours on end? What are you watching on Hulu? And it doesn't even need to be something where you're like, oh my God, I'm never watching the Kardashians again. Oh my God, I'm never watching The Bachelor again. You can watch those things. That's totally fine. I watch those things, but it's about how much you consume them in relation to how much you consume other types of things. Are you reading throughout the day? Are you also reading self-help books? Or even if you're reading fiction books, are you just, are you reading, okay? Are you watching videos about people who change change their lives and seeing how they did it so you can kind of pick up some tips and tricks along the way. Are you just gossiping with your friends or are you using those conversations with them to talk about self-help and how y'all can better yourselves and all these different things. So it literally comes down to the minuscule moments within your day where you have options A or B. What are you going to choose? Are you going to choose to align with your higher self or are you going to choose to do something that you know very well is not aligned? And the more you make the choices of misalignment, the more that you are going to find it harder to manifest those moments where you are embodying that best self or you are manifesting your dream life. And the more that you choose moments of alignment, the more that you will find you are magnetic towards the things that you actually want to experience in this lifetime. The fourth habit that you need to adopt in order to embody your best self and manifest your dream life is to speak up. Be transparent about your beliefs, about your desires, about the things that you don't like. Speak up. I think a lot of times people are afraid to speak up because let's face it a lot of us can be people pleasers or recovering people pleasers maybe you came from a background or household or childhood where you didn't want to disrupt you didn't want to cause chaos and so in order to avoid doing any of that you stayed quiet you never spoke up about what bothered you you never set boundaries you never talked about your desires you never made anything clear because you were so afraid of upsetting the people around you in order for you to truly step into that best version of your life and of yourself, you need to learn that it is okay to have an opinion. You need to learn that it's okay if other people disagree with your opinion. You need to learn that there is something so powerful about standing in your truth and doing so in a respectful way. This isn't about yelling at other people or trying to force other people to see things the way that you see them because at the end of the day, no one can ever 
ever see the world the same way that you see the world because everyone is so unique with their experiences. Everyone is so unique with their perspective. No one's ever gonna see it the same way as you. But this is about allowing yourself to share your thoughts, share your perspectives and do so in a respectful way. The more you start to really own your truth, the more that you'll see that you become more confident because you realize that there's nothing wrong with owning your truth. You realize that in owning your truth, you're able to be even more authentically yourself. So speak up more in your life and share more of your opinion, share more of your perspective, share more of your truth, and also do so, like I said, in a respectful way where you let others know that it's okay if they disagree with you. You can still be friends, you can still be neighbors, whatever, but you are gonna stand in your authentic truth. And there's something so ridiculously powerful about that. I don't think this is controversial necessarily, but it is to let go of situations and mindsets that make you feel like you're a victim in your life. There are so many times in life where we can feel like there's so much that is outside of our control. Because of that, we start to feel like we're a victim. We're a victim to the circumstances around us. We're a victim to our environment. We're a victim to all of the things happening in the world. And we can never truly live a fulfilled life because there's so many things outside of our control. I don't ever mean to dismiss anyone's feelings because trust me, I have been there and sometimes I am there where I feel like, oh my God, woe was me, this sucks. Like it just, you're like, oh my God, I can't control everything and I wish I could because I would make it all better. There's something really freeing about not being able to control everything. Even if you don't have the ability to change every single thing happening in the world, you have the ability to change the environment around you, the immediate environment around you. This is about choosing habits and mindsets that empower you versus ones that make you feel disempowered. This is about leaning into the belief and the understanding that you are a powerful co-creator and while you can't change every single thing that's happening in the world or happening to you, you can definitely change your perspective on it and in doing so, can change your life. Okay, so we've talked about five different habits that you can adopt in order to embody your best self and manifest your dream life, but I have a bonus one for you. And this is all about getting clear on what is the life that you wanna live. And it sounds so simple, <laughs> so simple, but a lot of people don't know what life they wanna live. They are influenced by the masses, influenced by social media, influenced by the regular media, influenced by external things such as their family, their friends, their significant others, in order to think that they need to live a certain life in order to be happy. Sometimes what we think we want to do or the life that we think we wanna live is not the one that we wanna live. So it's important that you go with it. This can look like journaling, this can look like talk therapy, this can look like you walking around your house talking to yourself because Lord knows I do that as well. This is about getting clear. What is it that you want to do? How is it that you want to live? What would your mornings look like if you could live your dream life? What would your afternoons look like? Your evenings, your wind down routines, your gym, um, your breakfast, your lunches, your dinner, all of those little details. And once you kind of figure out what that looks like to you, you work backward. What does that person in that dream life of yours do? How do they dress? How do they feel about themselves? How do they speak to themselves? How do they go about their day? How do they interact with strangers? How do they treat their belongings in their home? All of the little things, all the little habits. And then you embody that from now. You start with today. You start before you have that house, before you have that job, before you have that morning routine, before you have that wind down routine, before you have that personal trainer, you start now. You start to show up at the gym every single day now. You start to make the delicious meals and romanticize your dinners by yourself before you have the partner to do it with. You start to appreciate your car and you start to, you know, turn up the volume of your music when you're driving to the gas station and you start to feel grateful that you have money for gas before you have that Corvette, <laughs> okay? You start to do all those things now. I think it's just a practice of gratitude, but it's also a practice of clarity. And it's a practice of allowing ourselves to know that just because it isn't 
right now doesn't mean that it won't ever be. Just because what we're experiencing right now isn't what we want or isn't what we know that we are destined to have doesn't mean that what we are destined to have is never going to come. And so in embodying it right now and allowing yourself to sit in that knowing that it is going to come and you can choose to feel that now, you get even closer to it. You become a magnet for that reality. Yeah, those are five, well, I guess six different habits that you can adopt in order to embody your best self and manifest your dream life. Comment below, let me know which one was your favorite. Let me know which ones you already do right now in your life and which ones you're going to incorporate more into your life. But thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate y'all very, very, very much. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you like these kinds of videos. Let me know what other kinds of videos you want to see on this channel since I am trying to try different things and lean into my creative juices flowing, you know? So thank you again for being here, my loves. I will chat with you in the next video. Bye.